Hi guys, it's Echoes Entertainment. Today I'm testing dollar store products for horses, but it's kind of a Christmassy edition. All these products are Christmas related, Christmas themed. So yeah, let's get started. First thing I got was this really cute little jar. It says ho 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 on it. And it's got Santa Claus and the lid that flips up and it's like you know, so it's probably designed for like cookies and stuff like that for people, but I was thinking I can use it and make horse treats and put them in here and like give to like friends or whatever. But I only got one, I could have gotten more, but I didn't because I just want to see how many I can fit in here. Um, I haven't made the horse treats yet, so uh, I can't like show you guys, but that's that's what my plan is for this. So. Second thing I got was this. This is a um, burlap bottle holder for like wine, I guess. I saw this though, and it looks about the right size for a container of fly spray or shoshin. And I was like, maybe you can use this and put the fly spray or shoshin in it to give to somebody. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have a thing of fly spray right here. And I'm gonna put that in here if I can get this thing out of the package. So it doesn't look very big around. I don't know if it's gonna fit. And the burlap is kind of coming apart. Um, but we'll try. Grand reveal, see if this fits. Oh, maybe. It's tight. There we go. Come on, there! There we go, yeah, that's kinda cool. You can just pull this down if you want to. That's really cool, it says Merry and bright on it. So, yeah, that works pretty cool actually. Awesome. So, you can use this, I guess, as gift wrap if you know, but I mean, they're gonna know what it is, but you could use this to gift this to somebody if you wanted to. Alright, next thing I got is this giant peppermint stick. It's huge. I'm gonna somehow try and give this to Piper. Um, I'll probably just have to stand there and hold it for him, but. Um, he absolutely loves peppermint, so he should really like this. Comparison to his head, that's how big it is. Oh, he wants it already! He knows what it is! I peeled back some of the plastic wrap here, and I'll just kind of stand here and hold it and let him lick it, I guess. You have to lick it! You have to lick it! No, you can't, you can't bite it. You gotta lick it. Lick. Lick. Take out your tongue. He's not letting go. I don't want him to bite off a big piece and then choke on it. That's why I'm not trying I try not to let him bite it, but he's got it in his teeth and I can't get it out. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> a goofball. There we go. Yeah, he's been working on it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at your lips. <laughs> look at his lips, they're so pink. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. Lick, lick, not bite, lick. No. <laughs> he doesn't seem to understand the concept. All right, so next thing I got, Santa, wow. Next thing I got um, is for, again for Piper. Um, he has a Santa hat, but he doesn't have an elf hat, a Jingle Bell elf hat. So I got this, we'll try it on him, it's like really, really cheap felt, like, oh my gosh, it's really just like crappy cheap. Let's try his hat on. Can I sniff it? Says, do I care? Not really. Oh, what a 
good boy. <laughs> what a good boy. You're so cute. Oh, good boy. It's like, oh yeah, totally cool. Totally cool, dude. Totally cool. Mm, what a good boy. So the next thing I got I thought was kind of cute is this little gingerbread cookie house. Um, I'm gonna see if I can like break it into pieces and give it to Piper because he likes cookies and um, see if he'll eat it. Um, although maybe I should try it and see if it if it tastes any good. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Are you supposed to be able to eat this? I don't know how to test this. Just lick it. it smells. Yeah, it basically just tastes like nothing, so I don't even know if he'll eat this. I don't know the best way to feed this to him or if he'll even want to try to eat it. Let me break off a piece. You like it? Hmm? It probably tastes really bland. I guess he likes it. I'm breaking it off into little pieces, by the way. I'm not sitting here feeding him the whole thing. And I'm not giving him most of the icing either. Well, he likes it. I'm surprised. I didn't like it, but, you know. Here, bud. Last thing I got, I can tell you now, is probably going to end up in horrible failure. It's this Make Your Own Christmas Stocking. Look at that! It's the cheap felt used for the same elf hat. They just used the leftovers and made a Christmas stocking. And there's these iron-on transfer letters. I say that with air quotes because, like, look at these. These are like, this is the crappiest looking craft kit I've ever seen. And then there's glitter gel pen, glitter and glue pen thing and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this works. So the instructions are here on the back. Alright, so first thing we gotta do is cut out the letters. And for some stupid reason, I thought it would be fun to put staples through the letters. Good for them. I don't see how these are supposed to be iron transfer. At all. Cut out letters of name and arrange with light red printed side up on stock. There is no light red side. This is like grayish green and this is brown. I don't know what they're talking about. So then cut out the decorations and position them, light, bright, light red side up, around name to your satisfaction. Uh, last I checked, there were no decorations included. So put the, this one here. And iron it for 90 seconds. It, I'm kind of surprised. It actually kind of worked. So now this stuff. Let's see if this works. So I think what I'm going to do is just go over the lettering with this. So I let paper stocking dry overnight and it didn't actually turn out too bad. Um, the yeah, glitter glue I didn't um, puff up like puffy paint. I thought it was going to puff up like puffy paint but it didn't. But it still looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of surprised it actually kind of worked. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did filming it and shopping for it. These are always a lot of fun. They've kind of become my trademark video, I guess. Um, they get, they've become pretty popular, actually, which is kind of surprising because I never thought they'd take off like they have, but they have! So yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!